Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. We got a neat little disease here that I, I actually like this disease. Uh, for one of the most reasons I like this disease is because it doesn't harm the turf whatsoever, which is nice. I mean, if it hangs out on there long enough, you might see a little yellowing going on on the leaves. That's only from it stopping it to be able to photosynthesize through that tissue. Uh, but um, it's very short-lived. Um, a mow it off will happen and it'll be gone. Uh, it, it's pretty quick. A lot of water you need to have this. It's called slime mold and it's really cool looking. I mean, look at this guy. Now it's white. Uh, it's just on the leaves. So let's see here if I can rub it on here. It looks really threatening, uh, but see it kind of wipes off the leaves and I can see it on my hands. It comes in different colors like white, blue, purple, yellow. I can't wait to see a yellow version of it. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. It looks really scary because it comes up and it looks like, oh my gosh, what is this weird thing going? It's not harmful to pets or livestock or anything like that. You typically find it in taller mown turf and that's where it's normally found, like the taller turf zones. Uh, and since we were growing a lot of turf here and I suggest higher mowing heights, uh, we can find some slime mold every so often. Kind of rare though. You don't see it very often. I love it. It can be on any species of turf too. So it doesn't matter what species of turf. It's just a matter of you need these 90 degree days with 70 degree nights. And this is exactly the perfect environment for slime mold. So uh, it's just so awesome to see fun little things like that. Don't be afraid of this guy. He's just fun to look at and interesting, right? All right, thanks so much for listening. That's slime mold. Don't be scared of it.